What is up my peeps, this is your host SuperSign and welcome back to another video. Now in this one I'm going to be showing you a change that's happened on YouTube. Now I've, this has become a regular habit and yeah, it actually, it's actually quite, because I, you know, I'd sort of just seen vidIQ do them, I'm like, ah, I could do a few of those and so I, I do. And yeah, it's actually I actually really enjoy covering the different YouTube changes, even if they're just minor. And it's obviously some that will be happening all the time that I'm missing, like... Yeah, they'll, they'll just there'll be things I don't even notice. But of the things I notice, I think yeah, I will cover them. But it's not like I'm actively seeking out like every single okay. Is there been a minor change here? The other, you know, because I'm not a I'm not a news channel. I'm not a like updates channel on YouTube. But I just do a few that I do notice. Indeed. Yeah, there we go. I do like that. I think it looks quite cool, to be honest. Okay, so, yeah, anyway, it's... So, yesterday I posted this, and, yeah, thank you to you guys who commented on it. And, yeah, left encouraging comments. I appreciate it. So, anyway, this here was from the previous week. This one here, it's kind of annoying how you have to... Wait, do you have to click open? Wow, that, took, like, actually has to load up. Okay, there we go. Okay, never mind. If we click on purchases... <laughs> <laughs> that's me. <laughs> okay, and oh, that's my description. Oh, yeah, I'm always changing that. Anyway, we'll click back, and we'll click back, like so. So, this community, and I can do a poll, I can do an image. They, they might as well just put meme. They might as well just call it meme. Just call it meme already. And I can actually do posts to different member tiers and that. Anyway, if we go over here, and we go to, not videos, not playlists, not analytics, but comments. Okay, and we go to comments. And anyway, now what they've started doing... Oh, there we go. So, yeah, they've actually started it... Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, post things now show up. And thank you, yeah, for you guys uh, for commenting. Post things will now show up, as you can see on the, on the on, like they actually show up in the comment section, which I think is really good actually, because otherwise, and it actually, because I, I mean I used to always answer most of the post ones anyway. Although there's one where I asked what currency do you use, and I got so many comments, I sort of just stopped because I didn't know what to say. Like I just sort of ran out of things to say. But now they show up here, which is good, because then it will be the more likely that creators will answer them. And so, see these here. But uh, as of this one here, which I don't even know, where, where, when did I post that? Uh, oh, yeah. The, <laughs> okay, oh, so uh, this is since the 11th of March. Because under the 11th of March, this one did not show up. Did not show up as comments. But now they show up as comments, so you can answer them. So there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, so if we, so like, if, for example, we scroll down in that. There we go. Boom, and if we go like... Thank you. Okay, there we go. Like, oop, oh, oop, oh, like that. Bam, bam. Smiley face. And then click reply. Right. And then we, yep, that's replied. And then we come over here. We click refresh. And then we wait for it to refresh. And then we click here, 51. Oh, did that? I wonder if it can. I think it. No, I don't know if it does count mine. Anyway, and we'll go down to here. Bam, and now it's replied directly from the comment section. So that's a new new feature that has been added, and that, which, yeah, it's, yeah. So, and anyway, I, uh, wait, wait, there's a couple of things more I was going to do or show. So we've done the comment section. Was there, What was the other thing I was going to mention or that? I can't remember. Let's do analytics. I can't remember. I don't think it was. No, anyway. It's sort of, yeah. So today I've been really motivated and focused on, and yeah, also, because I didn't include in that post the amount of views I'm getting. So I'm averaging about, well, it's gone up just recently to a little bit more, but normally it's around that 10K mark, give or take approximately. So some days it's lower. It's, it went up a little bit when I started doing Heyday Pop a bit, you know, but uh, yeah. And, and also, also that stream there started really taking off. You know, it's it's doing, it's been doing much better recently. 5,000 views. So it's getting 2,500 per day now, which is a huge amount. Like, if you remove that off that, yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's still actually being over 10,000. But normally it's, yeah, anyway. So. Yeah, I, I'm really happy actually to be doing. You know, I know it's 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 like sad to be leaving that doing, and I, I'm not completely leaving. I'm just cutting back on you know the gaming, which I'm majorly cutting back. Like it's not just like oh okay, rather than like two streams a day, we'll just do like one stream a day. It's like nope, gaming streams are gone now. I might be doing it at Royal Rivals One LC, and it's not as I'll never do any games again by no means. As soon as I release another game, I'll probably go back to daily covering it. But I I feel like I don't know. I yeah. I don't know, I kind of feel like I should have... There you go. Oh, and I like it how it says it does this now. It's kind of, this isn't that new, but yeah. As you earn more from Super Chat. So thank you for those who've Super Chatted. I appreciate it. There we go. Boom. But yeah, and so... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy to be doing this 24-7 stuff. I have, I've had this idea, 24-7 ideas since... L uh, late 2018, and I even did a 24, uh, not a 24/7 one. I did a 12-hour stream 
in 2018, which, like, at the time, not many people were doing. Now, like, it's starting to get bigger and bigger. I've taken so long to do it. I mean, because I've just not left... I've been always in the gaming sphere, and then I haven't had time to properly manage. I sort of went into it a bit in July. At July 2019 was when I sort of took a big swing at it and started. Although, like, then there was the, the thing, things along the way that actually made me enjoy it. Like, for example, one of the things that I, I, I really did like... I actually made a long video about this, and I think about June or July 2018 that I probably won't release. Oh, I might release. Anyway, uh, probably not, though. Uh, if it took off, then maybe. But, yeah, and it was of the Taylor Swift stream, of Taylor v Swift's video called Me. It was, I think, on the 25th of April, or maybe the 24th of April. But, anyway, uh, 2019, and it was and it was her song, and it was the, the likes counter and that, and we were waiting for it to start and that, because she'd put it on Premiere, and then I'd got this thing, which had a statistics, like, the likes, the views, the dislikes, the and, and the comment feed. It was like, Psh. But it was, it was so cool, because all these Taylor Taylor Swift fans, all these Swifties, came to the stream and were, like, hyped about it. And to me as a creator, because I find, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know if this is correct, but it seems like, you know, with, when you go to 24-7 streams, uh, often, like, the creator isn't there. Now, it's often for good reason. They can't be there all the time, and even when they can be there, they don't just want to be sitting there, like, just responding to every single message every, you know, minute, like, they just sit there for an hour and that. But often it feels like the, the creator isn't that involved in the stream, which I, I can understand why they can't be. Likewise, I can't with this one here. I barely even check it at all. Well, I mean, to make sure it's all going in that, but I don't, don't interact with the chat that much. Although I have in the past, like, but... Yeah, and I will be doing another video on this, explaining this a bit more later, but yeah, with that one there, you know, I don't, uh, you know, but it, it hasn't felt that involved in that, but the, like, it felt so cool to be sort of part of the hype, part of the excitement during that Taylor Swift stream, and uh, this was in April 2019, I was like, I love that, that's such a cool thing to be part of, and I love being part of the analytics community, and, you know, I want to, I want to sort of, like, make records of, you know, as much as I can of the stuff, and I want to, you know, there's a lot of things that aren't even really covered in that, and it's like, my, like, it's like, my dude, I need to actually be doing this. I need to be covering that. All these TikTok milestones have been achieved in that. For example, Charlie D D'Amelio became the most followed person on TikTok. I didn't even cover it. Now, I think a few people did, probably, like, Statistic Wars or whatnot. But I, it's like, man, I should have done that. I should have streamed it, and I didn't. And now I feel stupid for not doing so. But, I like, there's so many things I want to be covering in that arena. And I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm more helpful in that arena than the, the mobile gaming one, because there's so many people doing mobile gaming, you know, although the game's like, you know, Bullet League and that, there's not, but, you know, there's, there's not as, like, as mobile gaming as a whole, but then that's not a fair way to put it, because, of course, there's individual games, they have no one covering them, so, yeah, I, I yeah, but I feel like I'll be of more value, and, my, for example, like, with my regular gaming videos, I can't edit them, right? Like, I mean, I mean, I can, and I have, and I have done a few good ones, like, the one about the, the rare stick corrections of Heyday. That, I, that I spent a long time on that, and I was very, very happy with the result of that, you know, but uh, most of my videos are not like that, and they, 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 they probably never will with, if I was to edit them, because I, well, I, then I'd have to only release, like, one per every, like, once a week or something, if I was to get them to that editing quality, although I would get faster at it, but, you know, with the, with the 24 7 community, you know, I, I have the, the knowledge and the resources and the skills to create these 24 7 streams, you know, a, in a quick manner, and, you know, like, record that footage, stream that footage, you know, make time lapses of that footage, and I feel like I, I I'd be better as part of that, like, I feel like I can contribute more in that area, I mean, uh, it's a tricky one, it's a tricky one, you know, and, and obviously that one has, like, well, I've tried doing mobile gaming, like, I've released over a thousand videos, although they're not all mobile gaming, but a lot of them are, you know, hundreds on Heyday, hundreds on Battlelands, you know, and it just hasn't really taken off the, the, you know, me covering the, the mobile game stuff, and so I'm like, hey, like, this this other, you know, 24-7 has a lot more potential, you know, and I, I genuinely do love covering it, and I really do want to, I've got so many ideas I want to do, and a massive, massive, massive shout-out to Electric Reku, you know, for, for totally inspiring and motivating me and continuing, like, I'll oh, stream this, can you stream this? It's like, okay, okay, I could do it, and, you know, and it's just, yeah, massive shout-out to you, buddy. I really appreciate it. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tricky one, and so, but I think that... It, I do love doing these streams, and I think in the long run, it will be, yeah, it will be, I think my channel will do much better if I do it, do that, and I've, I've genuinely tried mobile gaming so much, I've covered so many different games in game review, I've extensively covered, like, Battlelands and Heyday and Rush Wars, and unfortunately, none of those sort of took off, like, yeah, like, Rush Wars just totally died, and that was huge amount of my time and money in invested into that, and it didn't work out. Heyday and Battlelands have gone down in interest, 
which is a shame. I mean, well, I mean, Hayday has gone up and then it's gone going down at the moment, kind of. Although updates at peaks and that, and Battlelands is just is a general thing going down. You know, and, and the games I covered recently, lots of them didn't even have the interest really to start with. But I mean, I enjoy the games, but I mean, it's just I can't keep doing that. But I've mentioned that point many times. So I don't want to keep coming back to that point. But yeah, I I just I think I'm happy with my decision to do these 24/7 streams. I've got so many different ideas I want to cover. I've got so I honestly have so many ideas. Like, I've already have like at least a minimum 20 different stream ideas that I want I would love to do like get going today but it takes it takes a long time to get all these different ideas and action and that it takes a lot of time like you have to design the streams you have to get the computer set up you know like updated and, and with OBS all installed and then get the stream that I've created onto that computer and make sure that computer has internet uh, and then internet that's A, reliable and B, fast enough. You have to make it as, you know, that has power. You have to make sure that the stream isn't too powerful for the computer, you know, at, or will run out of memory, you know, and then often you need to create backups to that, you know, make sure that it's there's no one to cut out and then you have to ma make sure that the backups in a good position. So there's so many, so many logistical things and, and complexities in doing that, you know, but yeah, I am genuinely surprised that it, more people haven't just jumped on the bandwagon because I was I've been wanting to I, I, there's so many thought trails I'm trying to cover right now you know this there's, uh, there's so many like you know like back in the in the day you know Flare TV that was a pretty that was rare for that to happen but T series with PewDiePie totally took off and that sh I, I it's like that's so cool and then I thought like oh man I should do 24 7 streams in that and I've actually come to really really love doing them and I've got to you know, I, and so now I've been trying to sort of, but I have sort of been putting it off because I've been trying gaming. And I've tried so hard to make the gaming work and the mobile gaming there, but it just hasn't worked, which is, it's it's a combination of factors, a whole heap of factors. One being my fault, I'm not good at editing the content that, but also the fact that those games just don't have the interest. Even Game on Tom, who is an incredible editor, his videos, uh, he, he's not, and I, well, based on statistics and the average statistics as to how many views get you, X amount of money. Even t Game on Tom, who who gets like twenty thousand, sometimes fifty thousand, sometimes like two hundred thousand views on 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 his. I mean, I've got over two hundred. That's a rare exception. But he he normally gets at least twenty thousand views on his Battlelands videos, and they're really well edited. But even he, and I don't think, would be making a living off of YouTube like a like getting enough money to daily do it. You know, which is like what? Like this Game on Tom, and he's incredible at the game. And Battlelands has the most interest out of all the games that I've talked about and covered. You know extensively, you know, but yeah, it's, and so it's just, it's, it's a, there's just not much interest in lots of those games, you know, compared to like Clash of Clans or Clash Royale or whatnot. And so, yeah, but I am surprised that more channels haven't sprung up as a result of Flare TV. Now, there are heaps of them sort of coming up now, and the, the sort of the stats community is growing in that at the moment. It, it's sort of been starting to grow, I don't know, for about a year, I'd say it's been it's been starting to grow more and more and more. But, yeah, it, it's sort of, and soon there'll be more and more, you know, MDM is, is growing really quickly. You know, at Royal Lat Stabs, you know, MDM has done the, the, like, the live view counts on the videos of, like, like, uh, K-pop stuff, you know, and, uh, yeah, and, and so there's, there's them, and then there's, you know, Real Life Stabs with the coronavirus stream that's got, like, 50,000 people watching, it's in incredible, really, uh, I mean, it, ma it makes sense, you know, but it's like, whoa, that's a lot, of, that's a lot, and millions of views per day, and, you know, there's, there's all sorts of other, you know, channels covering different things in different ways and that, but I love, I, I like making a stream and thinking this is like I'm putting my personal touch on it you know these are the colors I like this is the songs I like in the background this the description I like you know and, and, and all that kind of stuff I like being able to do that and I I, I really do think that 24 7 streaming is the is the good direction for me to go so and, and, and but it does take a long time to get everything going like for example today I was working on the uh, TikTok one, and so the top 20 TikTok. Now, I've done this stream twice before, at, like, well, kind of, I did the Lauren, uh, well, the first one I started was the top 20 TikTok, but unfortunately, I think it was, like, a live something or whatnot, the, the company that, the, the, the site that had those counters ended up just stopping, and then all the counters didn't update, which is really annoying, and then there was another one called, like, Clout, Clout Log or something, so I then had to change all the counters over to those, and now that one's still working, and so now I'm using, going to be using livecounts.io, but it, do, it does take a while to have to, like, keep changing it, even though I have the template, and so anyway, I've got that one, I've got a, I've written the description, got the thumbnail ready, you know, got all the counters in there, got the likes counter and the view counter updated, the time updated, and got it all ready to go, so I'll be releasing it in less, in, in less than an hour and that, you know, but it, it's taken like a, my whole day in that. Now, I feel productive having done it, like, 
yeah, like, well, yesterday I did the printer, and unfortunately I just couldn't fix it, and it was frustrating, and it was like, oh, I've achieved nothing, but today it feels like I have, and I, and I sort of, I woke up this morning inspired, enthusiastic, I didn't know if that was going to be the stream I was going to be working on, although I had an idea that was probably going to be it, but, because uh, I was going to do, I wanted to do TikTok stuff and that, I, I'm actually really interested in doing, covering TikTok stuff, uh, although not doing TikToks myself, I did do one, but now it seems to have been deleted, I don't know what happened to it, but anyway, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, so I'm going to be covering it, yeah, yeah, doing that, and it, but it was exciting and enthusiastic, like, I got up and I was ultra productive, you know, I was, I was getting all these things, you know, getting all the stream in action, you know, I was researching all about storage and devices and trying to find the cheapest terabytes, and it turns out, normally the, the, the bigger, the bulk you buy, so you'd think, you know, like, if, for example, you get, like, a 16 gigabyte, you know, USB flash drive, it would be better, cheaper, more value than an 8 one. But actually, it, it, in half the time, it isn't. But in this case, it, with the terabyte things, you know, with the... I've got... Oh, I can't really unplug it now. But oh, this one here, the expansion, this thing here. So this one here, even though it's only two gigabytes, is actually the best value one. It's better than, like, the four or the six or the eight terabyte ones or the 16 terabyte Iron Wolf one. So, but yeah, and that's about 100 New Zealand dollars approximately. I should wait till it's on special. But it's about 30 US dollars per terabyte. Oh, and so yeah, thirty dollars per terabyte, and so and and at the rate of five thousand bit rate kilobits per second streaming, and that would last thirty three days. The two terabyte one. So I mean, and so then it would cost approximately two US dollars a day to be storing all the all the data that you're constantly streaming, and that at the rate of five thousand bit rate, you know, and the, the frames per second that doesn't actually affect how much data it's it's doing, but in kilo, it's different to the kilobytes, and so then you have to, you know do the eight to, and that, and then there's the the Windows like measures it slightly differently because it's 1024 bits or whatnot. But anyway, I accounted for all that. It lasts about 33 days because it's like 1.1 because the two terabytes becomes 1.81 terabytes if you do the 1024 Windows calculation, and which you need to do, and then. The, you know, divide by, and so the, anyway, it lasts about 33 days, which, I mean, so it's about two US dollars a day per stream to store all the data at a bit rate of 5,000, which is slightly low, I mean, it, it works well, it's a nice rate, I would like to have it higher, it can go up to 51,000 is the max that YouTube allows, but 5,000 is fine, and so, but yeah, then I need to be, that would be, cost me two US dollars per day to store it, and it's not like you can reuse the, the, the drives in a sense, the expansion drives, like, of course, yeah, it's reusable, but, You've got the data on it. You have to put the data somewhere, and I can't just put it on a computer. So I just have to go keep all these drives of like, okay, this is like the, uh, Ma this is April of TikTok top twenty, and put it there. And then this is June TikTok to, and then I can make a, like a, a year long time lapse, which I love to do some year long time lapses. It will take at least a year to do. But imagine, imagine, I'll need an editing program that can have that much footage to compress down, and like I'll speed it up, and I, I can actually calculate like three hundred sixty five days. If you, like, calculated it, it would be, like, uh, and to make it less than 12 hours, it would be, like, just under 2 minutes a day, you know, at the max speed. So, I think it was, like, times 730 or something like that. Well, that was maybe to make it, like, within... Anyway, but, yeah, I'm really sidetracked. But, yeah, anyway, I'm excited about doing these 24-7 streams. I've got so many ideas, and I do... I'm confident with this decision. I think it's a good decision. I wrote a detailed thing today about, you know, like... Well, even the description of the TikTok. It took me a while to write, but then I also wrote, like, a, a detailed email about, you know, the, the reasons I'm, I'm, I'm doing it and, and all the different logistics. It's extremely logistically complicated, but I do believe that, you know, it, it is it is a good decision. I'll be, I have been genuinely wanting to do it since late April, and I've sort of been coming you know, it's like, okay, we're about to do it, okay, no, we're covering Battlelands, and oh, you are gonna do it, oh, no, one to rush for, and oh, gonna, no, no, actually, I'm just gonna do a bit of uh, hater pop and all that, you know, I just never quite got into just, bam, and now, then I'm doing less gaming and that, I will be able to focus more on it, and, and who knows, it could actually work out so well, you know, and, and you know, like, and, and then, you know, in five years, who knows, who knows how, what this will turn out, it might, it might be a silly decision, and it didn't work, but it could be incredible, and who knows, I could be the top 24-7 live streamer on YouTube, I mean, that's pretty crazy if that would ever happen, but if it, it's possible, it's possible, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not impossible, so anyway, but I still have a lot of logistical things to figure out, and then it's like, well, I need the computers capable of streaming it, you know, and then I need to also have the storage driver, so I'm just do it, and then I need to hire the secondary internet of the wife wireless, so it's not on the same internet connection, and literally, I can't even afford to get it all going at once, so I'm gonna have to eventually, like, the thing is, in order to get it all properly set up, it's going to cost a few thousand dollars. But in order to get the few thousand dollars, I need to 
have successful streams. But in order to get the successful streams, you need a few thousand dollars set up. But I, I'll just have to sort of figure it out and go along as I go. So, for example, I've got some commuters at the moment. So, I'll be like, all right, we'll get those ones set up. And we can't get the other ones yet, you know, and we can't necessarily get them all properly backed up on a secure, like, internet thing but and I'll just go along and slowly try and get it to all work out that's the idea but I kind of didn't want to go fully live with all the until I can guarantee that they're all going to be able to stay online I don't want to go fully live because then otherwise then one of the big reasons is then if I go if, I, if the streams are live for ages and then they just cut out it's so annoying because then you're back to square one it's just really frustrating because then you know like months worth of streaming then they cut out and that so actually I actually yeah I, I won't be hiring these computers anymore although it's not to say I'll never hire computers in the future because then they do have the benefit that they're on a completely different network independently so that solves the problem of needing to back up the ones that you have here but yeah anyway so I've got the computers so then it won't cost me at the end of it if it doesn't work out I still got the asset of the computer so I can resell them but if I just hire them then I don't have anything at the end of it and yeah so anyway I've, I've got the computers and so I'm ready to start the streaming stuff now yeah so we'll see we'll see how it all goes and that you know and hopefully it goes well but yeah I don't know, I, I sort of, I, I sort of guess I covered most of what I was going to say. Uh, I do appreciate, yeah, those of you who, who did, uh, yeah, message kind, you know, messages on that. I, but yeah, I, I genuinely think this is a good move, and we'll see. We'll see if it was a pro game move or not. We really will. Uh, time will tell whether it works out or that, in terms of at, uh, whether it's successful or not. But at the same time, if I enjoyed along the way, that that is also, like, if I really enjoyed along the way, that's also very important. So I will hope to... I, I, I feel like there's a lot that I can contribute to the to the the stats community and I, I yeah, you know it's this yeah so, some awesome awesome people in it you know and, and you know it's so it's cool and exciting in that these these different milestones and documenting them it's sort of like recording and documenting like modern day history on in a digital way which technically all is kind of stored because it's all on the internet but not in a viable way that's easy to sort of view and think oh that was the moment they hit there and oh here's a video and oh here's a few details I didn't know about when they passed or whatnot it's like no no here's is the live stream of it them actually passing and here's a description of all the details of what happened and leading up and, and sort of there's just a far more focus and detail you can put on it and yeah just yeah I've got I've got so many things that I, I've got planned in that but I am comfortable doing this I think it's a, a good idea and yeah I, I've already enjoyed it today and it just me, keeps me so productive there's so many things I have to do you wouldn't believe how many things I've got this massive list of all these tasks you know I have to like I've got the stream ideas I have got no shortage of those but it's like you know I have to set them up you know and get like build all the streams themselves like well not build but use OBS to create them all and then you know have the com you set all the computers get it backed up and get it all ready and get it going and I'm excited to do that and I was sort of just rather than just waiting and getting everything ready and just going boom I'm just gonna sort of get them out as I go so hey I'm I'm like I've just made it so I'm happy about it and it's like yay it's cool seeing it rather than like having done it and then releasing it months later when it's like oh yeah you don't get the same joy I don't find it's nice to sort of release it as you have created it and that so that's what I'll be doing and yeah and then I can sort of keep an eye on the problems as they arise with the different things and edit them before moving on to the next project and that rather than just releasing it all and, oh no there's issues everywhere so yeah I don't I, I think I've covered most of what I was going to say yeah so yeah I'm I'm happy I'm happy I'm happy. Okay, so that, yeah, I, I think I'm just going to wrap it up. This ended up being way longer than I thought it was going to be. It was just going to be a short video about how the, yeah, and I've actually got another video kind of like this. It's, I think it's only nine and a half minutes about this that I created yesterday before I did that post, but I could be onto something here. I could be onto something. This could be a really upcoming genre, you know, and in five years, we will see if it worked out, if, if 24 semester streams are a big thing on YouTube or if it's sort of just a small minority that doesn't really take off in that even if it is it's still a really I, I really still like it it's a really cool one even if it isn't really popular there's an odd thing that's popular the coronavirus stream you know that oh there's this oh, what was that one those uh area 51 rate man they had like 80,000 you know although some people on twitch get like heaps every day anyway <laughs> but I mean it's still cool on youtube t series versus youtube you know uh not use you know that one yeah that was uh, those ones are all really popular but there's always room for new popular ones you never know what's going to be popular you never really do but if you always keeping an eye on it and, and, and try new ideas all the time as soon as they you know different things come along you never know what will come of it so this could be the start of something new that works out really well maybe it won't but we'll see I'm happy to make this decision I'm looking forward to making 24 7 streams I've been looking forward to it for a long time and I have sort of done it along the way but I've never fully focused on it now I'm going to fully focus on it but I still will do the old gaming video and that but not like 
daily four pieces of content a day kind of stuff. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys and, and feel uh, it's uh, I'm still the same super side. Feel free to still comment. Yeah, you you can come in a gaming comment on my non gaming video. That's fine. Uh, you know, I'm still happy to chat to you. I'm still the same super site. You know, I will still do some actual streams. You know, just not as many in that. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Feel free to ask any questions you have. And yeah, that's yeah. Thanks. Uh, yeah. See you all next time. I'll be back. Um, well, I'm not going away. I'm still here, just doing something different to my usual. Yeah. So see you later. Have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day. Goodbye for now.